In this video, we are going to talk about a problem statement which is faced by administrators day in and day out who are working on data power. So the problem statement is you have several application domains in a data power appliance. In these application domains, there are several certificates present. They are distributed in cert and shared cert folder and you have maybe hundreds of them present in the data power. Now, as an administrator, you need to get alerted in advance which one of these certificates are getting expired and you need to prepare for their renewal. So renewal is a separate topic which we which I have discussed in um, other video, you can look at it. But the core question here is how as an administrator, you will get an alert, perhaps an email alert, which will tell you that certain certificates are going to get expired. Meet cert monitor. Cert monitor in data power is created exactly for that purpose. Question is how you can configure cert monitor in the data power. So let's try to understand how can we configure cert monitor in the data power. First, you got to be in the default domain and here you type in the crypto certificate monitor. This is the object that will help you. Now, this let's understand what are the settings here. First, it is enabled by default. The polling interval is one day, meaning that it will poll once in every 24 hours. Reminder time is 30 day, meaning that um, if I am sitting on, let's say, uh, August 1 <coughs> and uh, a certificate is going to expire in August uh, 30, which is 30 days ahead from now, it will be it will be able to send me a reminder okay if you put here reminder time like 90 days you will start getting notifications related to certificates which will expire in 90 days from now 90 days or 89 days or you will get one reminder per day the polling interval de determines how many reminders you will get uh, uh, each day if i put here five daily i am going to get five reminders corresponding to one certificate that will uh, that is going to expire uh, in this reminder time window now log level and uh, disable so log level leave it aside for a moment disable expired certificate you want to keep it on or off off means this crypto certificate monitor object will actively monitor certificate but even if it gets expired let's say you don't take an action even if it gets expired it will not disable the certificate object that's what the setting is if you turn it on it will disable the uh, expired certificates so uh, choose it according to your use case log level will become clear in a moment so let's assume that this is the crypto certificate monitor object that you have created can you expect that uh, you uh, get you start getting emails when certificates are uh, sub, uh, due to expire the answer is no here comes the twist part the crypto certificate monitor will monitor the certificate for sure and what it will do is it will print a warning on the system log if the certificate is supposed to expire but that's a warning on the system log as an administrator, you are not watching the system log 24 across 7. And hence, you would perhaps miss those warnings. What is the way to get that warning over the email? So that come, there comes the second part. The second part is to configure the log target. So here I will click on log target. And uh, here I will click on add button and uh, I'll tell you the key settings that will help you get those alerts over the email. 
so you can provide a name here uh, whatever name maybe you can say cert monitor log target here keep everything as uh, same and uh, in the target type you choose uh, SMTP this will ensure that um, you get an email log format you can choose text usually that works fine and below you can see that you have source and destination configuration settings in the destination configuration settings provide your email address this is your email host and this is your email port so here you need to provide the email related settings this is the source configuration so here local identifier usually you can keep the name of the data power box from where the alert originates i can say data power apac uh, maybe uat box this is just a descriptive name you can put anything here this is sender email address and this is smtp client domain which you will get from your um, uh, uh, exchange administrator so you need to put sender email address here and here SMTP client domain okay leave other settings as is so that is one then you go to event subscriptions if you don't do this you will not get alert event subscriptions click on add button and here in the event category choose cert monitor here in the minimum event priority you need to the safe way is to choose debug although if you choose warning it would work so you can click on apply button so two settings under main tab under event subscription tab if you do these settings and click on apply button now you can be assured that if certificates are due to expire in next 30 60 or 90 days however you have configured in the cert monitor those events will get delivered to you over the email and that's pretty much about the certificate monitoring in the data power it is as simple as it looks like that's all for this video thanks for watching